let's talk about something that no one likes to do but everyone should do and that is keeping this chain clean. Now people think of the chain as a really filthy part of the bike. Look, you really don't want to get involved with it. But if you don't keep this chain clean, your gears aren't going to shift properly, the chain's going to rust, you're going to get dirty every time you brush against it. It's a very critical piece of equipment on a bicycle and it's not, not as bad as it sounds when it comes to cleaning it. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to do this with this chain. Look at my hands, there's barely anything on them. Bet you can't do that with your chain, can you? Here's why this chain is so clean. I use a product called White Lightning, which is a wax-based lubricant. Uh, wax doesn't tend to attract a lot of dirt. There's another product by Finish Line called Crytek, which is just as good. I'm going to use White Lightning for this demonstration because I've used it for a long, long time and I really like the product a lot. The idea behind White Lightning is it's delivering a wax lubricant to the chain. It comes in a, a liquid like this. The liquid dissolves, the wax stays on the chain when it's done, and the wax provides lubrication. The idea has been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, before products like White Lightning came out, uh, people used to actually take their chains off their bike and dip them into molten paraffin with a little bit of oil mixed in to give it a little suppleness. And then they take them out and clean them off and put them on the bike and voila. But talk about labor intensive, that's the way it was. Now, with this, just shake the stuff up. And I'll tell you, if you have a, cha a chain on your bike that's really dirty, use this about three or four times and it'll start to clean that chain eventually. So I'm just gonna squeeze it onto the chain like this while I'm rotating the pedals until I know I've come back to the beginning point. And then I'm going to keep spinning like this for a while just to give this stuff a chance to kind of set in. Now, if you don't have a stand for your bike that holds the rear wheel up, that's not a problem. You can just kind of prop the rear wheel against something so that the bike is standing upright. And then you back pedal instead of forward pedal. And it'll work just fine. Same concept. You just want to keep the chain moving for a while to let stuff settle in. Now what I want to do is get the excess lubricant off this chain. I could leave it like this, but I've got a lot of lubricant in places where it doesn't need to be. So I'm just going to take a paper towel like this, and you can see it starting to pick up a little bit of dirt and stuff that's coming off the chain. We'll do that for a while. If your chain's really dirty, this will be pretty darn dark, almost black. This chain's pretty clean right now, so it's not giving off a lot of dirt. You know, the chain doesn't need to be sopping wet in lubricant. That's one of the things I think people don't understand. Lubricant on the side plates like this doesn't do you any good. The lubricant really needs to be into these places right here, where the side plates are in contact with the inner plates, where the rivets are, that kind of thing. That's where the real lubrication is going on. So if you're carrying any excess around with you, that's just what it is, excess. It doesn't need to be there. And if you use a lubricant that's not clean, like this stuff tends to be, then it picks up a lot of dirt. And dirt causes things to wear out. Now, notice the chain's not in a vacuum. The chain is riding on the chain rings. It's riding on the cassette like this. So if you've got really dirty cassette, really dirty chain rings, you want to clean those up too. Otherwise, this clean chain just goes onto the chain rings. It picks up dirt. Dirt comes into the chain. Same thing with these little pulleys back here that are on the rear derailleur. Sometimes I just kind of pull things away like this and give them a quick, quick cleaning like that. Pull the chain back like this. See, here's the joy of a chain that's nice and clean. I can do this without getting absolutely filthy. That in itself is a reason to keep this chain clean, without a doubt. So see, this was really very easy. Nice clean chain. How long did it take me to do this? three or four minutes, something like that, no time at all. People want to know how frequently should I do this? Well, it depends on what kind of riding you do. Normally, if I'm riding in dry weather, normal roads, not a lot of dust and that kind of thing, I'll do this about every three to four hundred miles, something like that. On the other hand, if I come back from a rainy ride, then usually the first thing I'll do is just kind of wipe this chain off to get all the water off it. This is metal, it will rust if you're not careful about things like that. And once it's dried up, then I'll put some more lubricant back on it. Now, for people who commute and you're riding in rain a lot or you've got a mountain bike and it's just messy, messy, wet, dirty, this is really too light a lubricant for a chain. 
This doesn't have the staying power for really extreme conditions like that. You'll want to use a lubricant that's a little bit more robust, definitely not a wax-based lubricant like this. Uh, it'll be dirtier, you'll have that to pay with, but for what you're putting that chain through, it's really the best thing. I think for most of us, though, doing road riding, being conscientious about our equipment, this is a fine lubricant, and I would wholeheartedly recommend it. But do pay attention to doing it frequently. It's kind of like brushing your teeth. If you let it go too long, you have a problem. I had a customer who emailed me the other day. She had a bike that she bought in 2000, and the chain was starting to rust. And we talked about it a little bit. It turned out she never lubricated the chain in eight years. So I'd say she got her money's worth out of that. All right, take care of your chain. Go get yourself some white lightning, some Crytek. Spend three or four minutes with it, and then you too can do this and not have any dirt on your hands.